All right, I'm going to create a new layer right now. And I don't know, I'll fill it with blue. And we're just going to forget about everything we've done for just a minute. And I'm going to go to uh, filter Mr. Retro, which these are available at MrRetro.com, by the way. And wait for that to load up. Now we're dealing with a huge document, so it does take a while, unfortunately. So you can play with your options here. Your base color is gonna be kind of the darker color that shows through. You got your highlight, which I'm also changing to darker just cause I like a little bit more darkness. And you've got a whole bunch of different uh, choices here. Unfortunately, it takes a little while to load them up cause we are dealing with a pretty large document. Okay, and when you got something you like, just click OK. And there it is in all its glory. I'm going to go Image Adjust, Levels, and bring up the contrast even more. Really bring that shit up. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to probably, I don't know, Flip it horizontally, change the blend mode, and you can get some interesting little effects. Okay, so I kind of like that. <clears throat> Duplicate that again. Change the blend mode to difference. And now we're getting a really grunged up effect, which is pretty nice. Try uh, flipping this vertically. Nah, I don't like that. Try flipping it again horizontally. That's pretty cool. So, it's kind of a nice little effect. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock these and actually bring them down here. And I'm going to bring those layers down below all this shit. And I'm going to go ahead and merge those layers. And I'm going to go ahead and put a gradient, which is going to go to uh, from transparent to black. And layer mask. And I'm just going to uh, layer mask that out. By uh, using the same gradient. Eh, that's not bad. I like it.
change that to hard light. And I'm going to flip horizontal. Eh, maybe not. So I'm just duplicating these layers. It's just bringing up the emphasis there. This one I'm going to set to uh, normal and then bring down the opacity. So we've got some of that glowing embers kind of shining through. That looks pretty sweet. And I want to move all these up a little bit. So something like that. <clears throat> now the city background. I think I want to darken that up a little bit. looking pretty slick <clears throat> and on this background here actually above it I want to throw some cool brush effects so let's go to our brush tools and find a cool brush as I said you can find some great brushes at brusheasy.com and yeah So this is kind of cool. So let's choose a brush size of, I don't know, maybe 700. Throw that in there. Just throw them in randomly. Maybe bring one up to like 900. Bring one down a little bit smaller, 160. We want it like uh, 400. Throw another one up here. Save that. 